So I want to talk about some side-by-side -side differences. <clears throat> you know, over here we've got the Salford 1200, uh, you know, our true vertical tillage tool. And we talk a lot about these gang machines and some differences between the Salford and the gang machine. Now, we need to keep in mind, both these tools have a purpose. I am going to go head to head, one-on-one, -on -one, and talk differences between the two. But there's a place in this world for this 330 uh, 25-foot disc, and there's a place for this 1200. And uh, so let's dive in and talk about them. On this gang machine, you can see all these blades are rigidly connected. There is this spring here that connects all the blades, and uh, there's virtually no flex at all in these blades. The jackhammering effect uh, is basically non-existent on a tool like this. This would be more like a pan that you would run across the ground to move soil. It's going to come and it's going to shear because as you see, when you're pulling this tool straight, these blades are at an angle. So you're going to get a shear right underneath here as, as the bottom of these blades cut through the soil. You're going to get a flat, perfectly flat, smooth top from those blades just shearing that soil. So you'll kind of, in some clay ground, you're going to get kind of like a, a, a cap put on that soil as it just like smears it shut. You've done that with your finger. Take some wet soil and just make a smear. That gets super hard. Over here on the Salford side, of course, we talk individual blades and how each one has got its own spring. You can imagine what it would be like to change this blade right here mid-season. Not a fun job at all. But if I have to change this blade mid-season, no problem at all. Grab my three-quarter and uh, pull that blade off, throw a new one on. Same thing if we were to break that coil or anything such as that. So today I was out running this 1200 and it was a tick wet, but it really didn't matter. This tool's so forgiving, I don't get that smear pan. If I were to run a tool like this when it's wet, it would be a horrible idea to do in the spring ahead of the planter because it's going to make for a, a really hard pan and it's going to seal that ground off if it's too wet at all. It's got to be dry. Now, let's talk some advantages of this disc. In the fall, no question. This is a more aggressive tool. It's going to bury stalks a lot better. And that's where I would uh, really side with a tool like this is in the fall when you've got a lot of residue that needs to go away. That's where you're going to run this one. Over here on this uh, 1200, you're going to chop, you're going to size, but you're not going to bury like what you would here. So fall, you can run this one both fall and spring, but I would definitely not run uh, a gang machine with any type of angle in the spring unless it's super, super dry and your soil's really forgiving. Just keep in mind, as you look straight down this, this tool, and I'm parallel with this beam here, look at how those blades are running. And if you're pulling this thing this way, these blades are spinning, and you're gonna create that smear layer as you drag this rigid gang across your soil. Versus here, you've got all these blades that can not only swivel side to side, they can flex up, to, up and down. And you can just look down through there Look at all those shatter points that you're gonna get from your soil. And you see me get out my Leatherman and I'll do some picking and digging at the dirt. And it's from all these points, just going like this through the field. And uh, like if you were to, right there, that's the shattering that we're talking about. And uh, it does that in the soil. So a lot of work being done here uh, with the 1200s, but I wanted to compare uh, the two because uh, there are a lot of gang machines out there. And there's a lot of guys that maybe don't know the differences between the two. So I parked them side by side so we can do an overall uh, side by side view of what a gang machine looks like. A little harder to change the blades. The blades typically cost quite a bit more money. Uh, I rebladed a Krauss the other day and every one of these blades on that Krauss 8000 was $145. I think you're somewhere around 50 here. So 
Um, big differences on a lot of different things, but uh, that's what we're talking today. Salford 1200 versus a Case 330. Thanks for tuning in.